This is video 11 on changing momentum for Darton College's flipped learning. After watching this video, you should be able to define momentum, use the equation to calculate the momentum of an object, and use the momentum to calculate the forces involved when objects reduce or increase their speed. First, we're going to talk about momentum and how to calculate momentum. This is the definition of a momentum. It's the quantity of motion of a moving body, measured as a product of its mass and velocity. So in other words, the momentum of this runner is a combination of his mass and his velocity. Confusingly, we use the letter P for momentum. We can't use M, because M has already been taken as it stands for mass. In simpler terms, momentum is a measure of how difficult it is to change the direction of an object or slow it down. You can calculate momentum using this equation. The momentum, or P, equals to the mass of the object times the object's velocity. Because the mass is in kilograms and the velocity is in meters per second, and they are multiplied together, it means that the units of momentum are kilogram meters per second. OK, so here is an example. This lorry has got a mass of 60,000 kilograms and is moving at 22 meters per second. What is its momentum? The equation is P equals M times V, or momentum equals mass times velocity. And to work out P, we need to do 60,000 times 22. If we do this calculation, we end up with 1,320,000. Not forgetting the units of momentum, which are kilograms, meters per second. In this example, we've got a car with mass 1,000 kilograms moving at 110 kilometers per hour. We need to work out its momentum again using the equation P equals M times V. Now we've got our mass, so we can put that in. The mass is 1,000. But we've got velocity here, which is being given in kilometers per hour. We need to change that into meters per second. To start off doing this conversion, we need to get our number, 110, and times it by 1,000. This will give us the velocity in meters per hour. This equals to 110,000. Then what we need to do is divide that by 60 times 60. You divide by 60 times 60 because that's how many seconds there are in an hour. So if we do 110,000 divided by 60 times 60, which is 3,600, we end up with an answer of 30.5 meters per second. Then we can take this value and we can put it into our momentum equation over here. So we've got the mass, which is 1,000 times the velocity in meters per second, which is 30.5. If you do that calculation, you end up with a momentum of 30,555.5. Not forgetting the units again, which are kilograms meters per second. Okay, so what we're going to talk about now is the change of momentum and how that relates to force. We already know that applying a force to a moving object can affect its speed. If a force affects an object's speed, then it also affects its momentum as well, as momentum is equal to mass times speed or times the velocity. So when you apply a force, it change in, changes an object's momentum. The longer the force acts for, the bigger the change in momentum. And we can work out the force by using this equation here. Force 
e equals to change in momentum divided for the time taken for that change. Questions about force and change in momentum often involve collisions. In this example, you've got a car which has a momentum of 30,000 kilogram meters per second before it crashes. The impact lasts for 0.5 seconds. What force is involved in the accident? To start off, we need to work out the change in momentum. We know that our start momentum is 30,000, but we need to find out what the momentum is after the collision. Now, because the car has crashed, it's come to a stop, which means that its velocity has gone to zero. So if we're to do our momentum calculation, we need to do the mass of the car times the velocity, but the velocity is zero. And if u times another number by zero, you get zero. So the change in momentum here is 30,000 take away zero. And if we divide that by the time taken for the change, which is 0 0.5, we get an answer for the force, which is equal to 60,000. Not forgetting that the units of force are in newtons this time. OK, so in summary, the momentum is a combination of the mass and the velocity of a moving object. You can calculate an object's momentum doing mass times velocity, remembering that the symbol for momentum is P because we already use M for mass, and its units are kilograms meters per second. A force is needed to change the speed, or a force is produced when a moving object stops, for example in a crash. This depends on the time and it uses the equation force equals the change in momentum divided by the time. Remember, to get change of momentum, you need to take away the end momentum from your beginning momentum. But often in crashes, the end momentum is zero as the car has come to a stop. And remembering that force is also given in newtons. Okay, so that brings an end to this video on momentum. You need to make sure that you've got your notes in your purple exercise book to bring them to lesson.